Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to do the prediction for new data set using the deep learning algorithm in RapidMind. So deep learning is a subset of machine learning which is essentially a neural network with three or more layers. This neural network attempts to simulate the behavior of the human brain, human brain albeit far from matching its ability allowing it to learn from large amounts of data. Deep learning is a machine learning technique that teaches computers to do what comes naturally to humans, that is learning by example. Deep learning is a key technology behind driverless cars enabling them to recognize a stop sign or to distinguish a pedestrian from a lamppost. It is a key to voice control in consumer devices like phones, tablets, TVs and hence free speakers. Deep learning is getting lots of attention lately and for a good reason. It's achieving results that were not possible before. What's the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Let's try to understand. In case of machine learning, feature extraction is not the part of the classification algorithm. But if I talk about deep learning, if I give the input, the feature extraction and classification, both are the parts of the algorithm. And therefore, we get a very good accuracy in case of deep learning. Now, how we can do this in rapid minor? Let's see. So first of all, we'll have to activate the data set Part one, I'll connect this data and run this play button. Now you can see here that age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pick, ST slope. These are all the attributes which are being considered. The target variable is a heart disease, which is uh, captured in yes and no. So here it is a the problem which we are having in heart disease is a, it's a classification problem which we have to deal. Now how we can do cross validation? Let's see. First of all, I will activate select attribute operator. drag it and drop it this operator is necessary because um, your data set may be having a many attributes and they all are not necessary for our model so i like to select attributes i'll go in subsetting it i'll select the attributes and i'll select those variables which are a matter of my interest age cholesterol fasting blood sugar heart disease old peak and resting ECG. Now I'll activate set role operator. I'll request all of you to please refer my previous session so that you can understand the flow of the entire series. Set the role. Basically deep learning falls in the supervised learning technique and therefore I'll activate the heart disease which is considered to be the target variable. Make sure that the target role is labeled. Now I will have to activate the cross validation. So I'll go in the operator window and activate cross validation. I'll drag it and drop it here. I have to disconnect this line. Now, if any operator is having two layers, it means that it is having a sub process, a parent process or a child process, main process and a child process. Double click. Now your screen will get divided into two parts. The first part is the training data set and the second part is testing data. Now here, you will have to bring the deep learning uh, algorithm here. So I'll drop it here. I'll connect training with training data. Model with the model is connected. Exam model with model is connected example with two and here i'll be using apply model i'll bring this apply model here and connect this model with model test with unlabeled and i will evaluate the performance we'll have to use the performance classification operator because it's a classification problem we want to classify the presence of heart disease so classification label will go with label Performance will go with performance. Example will go with test. I'll press the up arrow. 
and I'll come on the main process. Now I'll bring the data set for which I want to do the prediction. Now this data set, we have never considered in the original training data set or rather the model has never seen this data set. It is completely new data. Now I'll have to carry out the pre-processes which we have done in the training data. I'll copy this, control V, same processes, pre-processes I will have to do. Now I will activate another apply model window from here. I drop it here. Now the model which was ready in cross validation, I'll fit it here. And the new data set is entered into the unlabeled. The label will go to the result window and the model will go to the result window. Now I want to predict for new data using this model. And I'll press this play button. Results are ready. You have to directly go in example set. And you can see here, this is a prediction which has been done by the algorithm. So this is your prediction and this is your original data. So in first case, the prediction was perfect. Second, okay. Third, okay. And therefore, the prediction accuracy is a good one. The algorithm has predicted almost all cases 100% accurately. So this is a way you can predict for new data set using deep learning in RapidMiner. For more videos on RapidMiner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Don't forget to press the like button.